Today I'm having a problem with the uh, steering mechanism servo motor which doesn't react to the remote control. What is happening here is that when I turn it on, when I turn on the car, it adjusts itself a little bit but then it just doesn't work. When I applied some oil, I saw that there is some rust coming out of here. So, as in my previous videos for other RC car models, I suspect that there's a humidity inside, so I'm gonna remove the cap, unscrew it and see what's inside, clean it, dry it and see if it works again. After removing the cap, I see that the motor is very rusty here. I removed this cap and I see it's all plastic so there shouldn't be any problem. And then if I remove this motor, I'm sure there's a lot of nasty stuff inside that we need to clean up. In this case, uh, I can remove it and I will apply some WD-40 stuff in there. Wait a little bit and see if it helps. Now we'll try to move it with the help of pliers. And I see a lot of rust and I'm sure the motor has been compromised. And I need to check if, the, if there's any electricity going inside here. So I attached the cables to the hold mirror and was checking by moving the steering wheel. And as you can see, it gives us uh, minus 4 volts and then plus 3.7 volts. So we know that the cables are good and that the electrical motor is currently bad. We'll see if we can reanimate this. And I'll try to unclip the metal parts and remove the cap and see what's inside if there's too much rust or dirt. I may clean that and see if after putting it all back together if it works or not. You see that the contacts are, in, are fine. You know, we need to understand what's going on with inside. I mean, it's strange, but it all looks good. Let's try to wash it all directly with the WD-40. Try to clean some dirt that's on the axis. Now we can check what's inside. So this is clean. The inside it looks all clean. Try to put it back and try to activate it again. Still not working. I'm trying to figure out again what's the problem with the electrical motor and another trick is to understand whether there's a problem with the brushes and the axis of the electrical motor. So you can take a battery again and try to connect these two wires with this axis and see if it works. And you see it works actually. You can see that the electrical motor works. So the problem is in the contacts between the brushes and this part. Let's try to put the brushes closer to each other. Maybe the distance is too big now, so we'll try to squeeze them, to bend them a little bit closer. I actually see something falling out. Of the paper. Let's take this out. So now they are closer. Now we need to put this thing inside in a way that it touches contacts and don't break them. Actually, you can also break them. After trying to arrange the contacts correctly, trying different distances and putting all 
the brushes in uh, in a good shape. Uh, it looks like it start working. Uh, still, I need to push it a little bit to work with, just to show you that now the electrical motor is working. So this is one of the disadvantages of the brushed brushed motors. The standard brushes wear out, but uh, now you can know what to look at when your electrical server motor gets bad. And these are the ways you can deal with these problems. In my situation, I think uh, buying a new part would be a better way to deal with this uh, because bad contacts may cause overheat and a lot of issues, or it may start working in a very important moment. Uh, but I hope this video helped you to see how you can figure out the different um, electronic parts and see how things work. Now, after putting everything back, see this is a rusty motor. Looks like it's working now. And we're all good to go.